I've been asked to take a look at this laptop because it has sound issues. And this is an Acer Aspire 5733. Uh, it's primarily used for watching YouTube and Netflix, uh, but obviously it's not really serving its purpose because the sound is distorted. So let's just power it on, see if we can replicate that. I should say I've already reinstalled the drivers on this, so it's not a sound software issue. I'm assuming it's it's a hardware issue. Maybe one of the speakers has, has blown, or both the speakers have blown. Or it could be something to do with the sound chip. I don't know at this point, but it'd be nice to get it working. Okay, so let's go into... We're going to YouTube and just see if we can test it. Connect to Tinternet. There we go. Oh, and who's that handsome chap there? Well, we might as well click on that one if it's there. Right, where's the volume? I mean, you can kind of hear it already. Oh, she bo nice. you're boring me. Right, well, you can hear the, the problem there. I think it's probably better with, with music. Let's play the outro. <laughs> you can hear there, it's all distorted. The bass is not functioning at all. It's just a garbled mess. So it could be that, just like I say, the speakers are blown. But I'm going to try and see, see if I can sort it out. I've never opened up one of these laptops before, so it'd be interesting. Maybe. All right, so let's power it down and we'll, um, we'll take it apart. Let's begin on the back by removing the battery. Got plenty of screws to remove, so let's get cracking. Holy Hand Grenade patron shout out time. And this week we've got Tidder, Ellis Garbutt, and Jamrag Berlin. Thanks very much, guys, and everyone else who supports me on Patreon. Much appreciated. Shabba. I'm hoping these are all the same size. They look it so far. Hmm. Is that everything? Yes, there we go. Still, it feels like it doesn't want to come yet. Right, it definitely does not want to come from that area there, I'm not sure why. Well, this is annoying. Alright, I wonder if we've got more screws, maybe under the keyboard or something. Let's see if this comes up. Yes, I think it does. There's little tabs here, 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 and here. Aha! Uh -huh. Excellent. Right, yeah, we've got some more screws here. Well, let's take them out. Oh, it seems like a lot of work just to get to a speaker. Right, I wonder whether I can get under here now. Yes. Yes, I can. Um, still got to remove that, I guess. Oh. And that there, which I'm guessing is for the touch pad. There we go. Right, excellent. Oh, and the speakers are here. The speakers are on this side. Right, so we've got one here and one here. How do I test these speakers? Because that's the first thing I want to do. I'm going to see if I can put the battery back in and get this, and the hard drive, and get this powered back on. I won't be able to use the touchpad, but I'll connect a mouse up to it. The speaker connectors are here and here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the left speaker into the right channel, the right speaker into the left channel, sort of swap them over and see if I can work out whether it's one particular speaker that's blown or whether it's something that's pushing the sound out distorted from, from the motherboard. Right, there's a the battery back in. Right. Let's get a mouse. Right, hopefully this will come on now. Yes, it does. 
Well, let's go back into YouTube. And let's put that boring bloke back on. But everything on this table is... Well, that sounds distorted. And includes... This is a VR... Let's try it in the other side, the right channel. Which is nice. It's also got this Nikon yeah. PS4 controller. Well, that sounds terrible, doesn't it? That sounds awful. Let's try the other one. Let's see if that one sounds normal, in which case we know it's a problem with that speaker. Alright, let's plug this one in. With a whopping great 64 megabytes on it. Well, that sounds normal. And I haven't tested any of these PlayStation 4 things yet. Start with the PlayStation VR. Yeah, okay. I was most interested in, in this job. That listening. sounds perfectly normal so to I me. I should say in the listing it said that these were all. Right, so what's wrong with this? Oh, there we go. You can see there, it's basically just blown. So the rubber or whatever it is that's around here has uh, has separated. So that speaker is just vibrating, causing the distortion. Now what do I do to replace it? That's the question. Because I don't have another one of these laptops. Ooh, idea. So this is one of the speakers out of the Nintendo Switch. This is William's Nintendo Switch that he sent over to me which I unfortunately couldn't repair. I wonder whether that would work. Let's try it. Hmm. Well, it certainly works. Didn't quite seem as loud. Yeah, it's definitely not as loud. I mean, just for comparison, let's put the other one in. Ah, oh, the other one's blown now. Oh, what? I've hardly touched that, and that is, um, that's also gone in exactly the same way. Yeah, that makes sense. If you're going to replace one, replace them both. One's failed, and the other one, and the other one is usually not going to be far behind it, is it? Right, I'm going to see if you can order them as parts. Maybe you can. It would make sense. If we can get the, the actual ones to fit back in there, then they would fit properly and they would sound how it is supposed to sound. So let's have a look. Right, let's shut this idiot up. Right, I found the pair of them on eBay, $7.99. And they are used, but hopefully they won't be as used as this one has been. You can buy them new from China, but they're 20-odd quid and they will take a long time to get here. So I think I'm going to order these, come back to this in a few days when they arrive. I did wash it, honest. Speakers have arrived. There we go. Now they are used, but I'm hoping they're going to be okay. Right, let's try and fit them in. These are a direct replacement, which is, uh, which is nice. So that one's going to go there. And that one is going to go there. I think I've got it, so I just need to reconnect all this now and then put the keyboard back in and then we can test it. While I've got this, he's actually asked me to see if I can make the DVD player multi-region. Uh, so I don't know, I presume that's possible, I don't know how to do it. I'm going to give that a go as well. So I might as well put all this back together and then see if I can work out how to do that and then we can test it at the end. Nice. That sounded good. So I took a picture of the DVD drive before I reassembled it. It's a Philips Lighton DS8A5SH. So I'm going to see if there's like a firmware, custom firmware that we can put on this. Let's Google it. I suppose before I do that, I should just test. He's given me a Region 1 disc. And obviously we're going to test it with the Monster Squad. I mean, what else would you use, right? Right, so there's the error code after putting that disc in. Your system is set to DVD region 2. To play this DVD, set your system to region 1. I know you can change it in the settings in Windows, but I think you can only do that. Yeah, it says changes remaining four times. You can only do it five times. So it's currently set to 2. If I change it back to 1, that'll only leave 3. 
change it back to two, that only leaves two. Like you can only literally watch a couple of these. I can't seem to find any custom firmware for that particular drive. There's a few people asking for it, but no one appears to have got it. I think I might just install VLC Media Player, because I'm pretty sure that does it for you. Right, so we install VLC. Let's open the disc. Monster Squad. I have no idea what this film is, by the way. It works! Shabba.